Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be giving you guys a general reading and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I see a masculine person wants to offer you something and is feeling burdened because they, they feel like they juggled you. And they're understanding that you guys could have like really like worked out, but instead like it ended or whatever happened. And now he like, or this person, it could be a he or a she, but this person really regrets like this ending or the fact that they left or that you left, whoever left, whatever happened. So, this is the ending that is them regretting and that is leaving the situation. So you're definitely having a new beginning. You're having this whole new cycle in life. I see in your past, there were like, there was like this person actively like lying to you or being deceptive towards you. And like they kept you in confusion. They kept you guarded. And I feel like they ignored you or didn't take your offer and that led you to feeling like conflicted confused anxious and you were just upset but now this person sees that you're like happy celebrating you have your wish fulfillment or it seems like that to him it's, or why do i keep saying that this masculine person it seems like that to them So something that like they're stuck on you, right? But something they're really stuck on is like the sex. I don't know what you were putting down, but, or if you didn't have sex, he's just feeling stuck thinking about what could have went down. If they would have just put a little more effort. All right. Okay, so currently, or you have already made the decision to heal yourself and you decided to heal how you were feeling, like maybe your emotions were feeling unstable at one period and you took the time to heal from that. And now someone might even feel your energy, how good your energy is feeling and they wanna come back around. Now they feel like they're your soulmate, they wanna get married, they wanna live this with you and that with you because they're realizing this and they're starting to use their intuition. And like, this is just gonna lead to them having a severe, severe, severe obsession. And that's not gonna end. It's not gonna end. They're gonna end up seeing you, see you get like stability. And yeah, they're just gonna like constantly be thinking about the past. They're constant, they're definitely gonna try to communicate with you. Um, and they're just like burdened and defensive at this whole entire thing. I'm gonna clarify on their obsession. Let's see. What's going on with this obsession? How is this person feeling? This person feels like they juggled you and then left you to go on for a new beginning or a new cycle with someone else. And they did this in a sneaky way. So they ended this sneakily. So there was a period of time where you guys weren't talking, you guys weren't speaking, and you went off and maybe you weren't happy, maybe you were upset. But in his mind, he sees you as, as like, you went off to be happy, you went off, you got your emotions together, and you healed yourself. And boom, yeah. And you went off with your life. So now that makes them be like, wait a minute, like, now they want to offer you something, they want to work on things with you, because now they're confused and guarded. Now they're in that energy. And now they want to work on something with you. So, yeah. They definitely want to manifest something with you. They're starting to realize how strong of, like, a person you are. And, like, they see you as, like, this independent person who has, like, all of her stuff together. Who really doesn't need anyone else. Like, 
if you were going to be with someone else, it would be someone like on your level who can like provide what you, you can provide. So they're starting to use this intuition and that's what's causing the obsession because they just keep thinking like what could have been. And like they see that you could have brought like a stability, a stable relationship or friendship, whatever, to the table. It's it's like they're constantly thinking about all of like the like the past memories. Um, if they have a picture of you, video of you, whatever, like they're constantly looking at it, constantly watching at it, constantly watching it, and they're burdened like when they're watching this, like they get upset. They definitely want to meet with you. They want to talk with you because they feel like if they text you that you'll just ignore them. So they want to like see you in person somehow. But they're like definitely coming to communicate. They're defensive they, and they know that they will feel stuck until they make a decision. So that's what's going to lead them to make this decision. Okay, so also, he feels like he's never gonna like be able to have sex with you again. And he's getting this mental clarity like, damn, like I should have gave more to her or to him. I should have gave more to this person. Cause now they feel conflicted, especially with this third party that they once thought was their wish fulfillment. So now that they're anxious, they're anxious, like damn, like I could have had the happy white picket fence friendship relationship with this person. And I went with this third party who I'm, who, I'm not interested in like it's like they they thought they were this person and then like they're realizing that they're not and that they're like ten of cups or full happiness would have been with you and then they left that on the cold like it was nothing they left you out on the cold and that and now they're like holding on to you like they feel like they never made a decision and due to them not making that decision this ended and now they're just in severe regret so all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time